Welcome back to the Napa Hiker Channel. I want to do a quick gear review. This is a, a sleep pad and it's made by Lightspeed Outdoor Products. And um, this is a company that I've just newly been introduced to. For those of you who follow my channel on, uh, on YouTube here, you know that the last time I went backpacking to Halverson Lakes, I just used a sleeping pad, a foam pad, and I just had a miserable time. I only slept like two hours, it was horrible. So what I thought I would do is when I got back, I thought I would invest some good money and you know, buy a, a good sleep pad. So I went to Sportsman's Warehouse and the cost of some of these sleep pads are outrageous. I mean, I looked at your Thermarest, I looked at your Kelty, I looked at all the other ones and you could spend well over $100 on a good self-inflating sleep pad. So I was about to spend the money, but I held off and uh, luckily I did because you know, uh, a week later, I was over at Costco and I found this sleep pad. And they actually had one on display and I looked at it and honestly, the quality seemed to be on par, if not better, than what I saw at Sportsman's Warehouse. So I picked it up and I picked it up for less than $50. I'm not sure what they're selling it for on their website. Um, I'll leave the link to their website right here and also down in the description. But um, you know, I picked it up for less than $50 and I was amazed at uh, how well this works. So what I did is I contacted the company and I said, you know, I want to do a review on the sleep packs. I'm so impressed with it, but I like to have some manufacturer information. So, you know, the review is a little bit more than um, it feels good. It's comfortable. You should buy it. <laughs> you know, so what I got in return is I found out that this is made with a T. It's, I think it's called TPU line uh, polyester and a lot of the sleep pads are PVC based and the problem with the PVC based ones is number one they leach chemicals number two they're more uh, apt to get puncture holes in it and number three they usually have a product in it called a uh, phthalate and this product is completely phthalate free what phthalate is is it's a um, a plasticizer that makes plastic products pliable. So the problem with phthalate is phthalate tends to leach chemicals and it also uh, tends to have an odor that comes along with it that can give you headaches and make you nauseous and everything else. Now I bought a pillow not too long ago and um, this pillow just released this horrible odor and I actually woke up for like a week. I couldn't figure out why I was waking up with a migraine every day. It's because of this new pillow that I bought. So this product doesn't have that phthalate in it. It's not PVC based. It's uh, the TPU uh, lined polyester. And so it's extremely durable. Now the thermal rating on this is 5.9, which means anything short of sleeping on a glacier, you're gonna be perfectly insulated and off the ground. You're gonna be really cozy on this. I've used this a couple different times. And like I said, I really like it. I really enjoy it. It's really comfortable. So let me open it up and demonstrate this to you. First thing you'll notice is this right here has a bag that it comes in and the bag is slightly oversized. That's a good thing. How many times have you bought an outdoor product, you get it out of the bag that it comes in and you can never get it back into the bag again. You're not gonna have this problem with this. So you open it up, there's a, I don't know what these little doohickeys are called, but it's got a slide right here, so it opens up and it slides right out. One of the things you also knows, notice about the bag is you have a small pocket here that has a repair kit. So in the unlikely chance that you get a puncture in this, you can actually fix it in the field and it'll take you about 10 minutes and you'll be good to go and you won't lose any sleep. You have a couple Velcro straps, just pull those off. You want to open up the valve. Push it forward. 
you probably can't pick this up on the camera, but this is self-inflating right now. And this fills up to two inches down the middle and along the sides and at the pillow, it's actually three inches. So it's a really good sleep pad. It's very comfortable. Um, also, one of the things that you'll notice about this sleep pad is that once it fully inflates, if you want, if you want it to be a little bit firmer, a little bit fuller, you can actually blow into it a little bit and actually increase the volume of air that goes into there. And then once it's full of air, you simply shut the valve, roll your sleeping bag onto it, and you're ready to go. So for the price I paid for this, this is a quality product and uh, I fully endorse it. I give a enthusiastic thumbs up on it. And again, I would recommend that you go to their website, take a peek around, uh, look at the products that they have. Not only do they have sleep pads, but they also have backpacking tents, family tents. They have uh, shelters for like going to the park, going to the beach, things like that. And uh, the, the thing about light speed is their tents go up extremely quickly. That's, the, that's their niche. Uh, their backpacking tent, for example, goes up in seconds. You know, you open it up, you get the footprint, and you just whoop, and it just it just opens up like a transformer. So, anyway, um, that's my review. I hope you like it. Please leave any comments down below, and uh, I look forward to hearing from you. So, stay safe out there. God bless. Happy trails.